So I mentioned that the uh, duster actually is having problems running right. So the carburetor is actually not that good on it. So I bought a rebuild kit. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, see what's in it. We have a carburetor repair kit for new carburetor performance. Hmm. That way I can actually drive this thing because uh, it's really hard to drive and the choke is just really finicky and you have to be careful with what you're doing. You really have to pay attention to it. And if you give it too much gas at certain points, then it'll go dead on you. So this will make it a lot easier to drive and I can actually enjoy the thing. So there's all my pieces. It's kind of an interesting way to package something. Just stick it in a box and seal it up. So it kind of does all this nonsense, but there's everything I need to rebuild it with. So with anything like this with small intricate parts like these springs and all these hoses which way they go a good thing to do is to take a picture of what you see that way that you can know exactly how it's supposed to go back i mean this thing's not going to be a, a lot of parts to take apart so it shouldn't be terribly difficult but i'm going to take my time do it right do it the best i can broke that spring <laughs> So I've got a workspace cleaned off and it doesn't look very clean but that's actually the, the remains of the last carburetor that was rebuilt here a couple days ago. But all the tools are still here so it makes it a little easy. I've got my holly sitting here. Uh, I've got the instruction sheet here. It's telling me which way to take it apart and how to do it. And on the inside it has adjustments and everything. So I'm going to start, take it apart and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I've got the float out you can really see all the trash that's been gummed up over the years uh, while I've got it apart I'm gonna take some uh, carburetor cleaner and clean all that out really good <laughs> rebuild kit kind of messed me up here as you can see this is the old pump diaphragm it just kind of came apart in my hands uh, and this is the new one so obviously this one's not long enough and it's not going to work and oddly enough you can see it pictured here on the instructions right there you can see that right there uh, you can see how it's cut out the same but oddly enough it does not include that for some reason so that means I'm going to have to try and scrounge around and see if I can find one. A local parts store. Called a few, said they didn't have any, so it may come down to me having to go buy another kit. Which, hopefully that's not what's going to happen, but it's looking that way. But I've gotten everything else torn apart. Still got to remove that gasket in there. A little frustrated, but let me just tell you right now, learn from my mistakes. You can see right here it says, breaking the seal prohibits the return and encrypting of this carburetor kit. Always make sure that your parts are going to be the exact same before you open up something. So I'm a little bummed out about that uh, pump diaphragm being the wrong thing, but I've actually called out one of the parts houses around here and they said that they have it and it'll be at their shop about 440. Uh, right now it's about 335. I'm going to wash the dart. It's a nice day to do it. So if anybody has any white letter tires or white line tires, then you know that they can turn yellow over time and kind of look aged and dirty. I'm trying this Quicksilver product here from Armorall. 
This is not a paid promotion. Let me tell you that first off. Uh, it just came in a, a car cleaning kit that I bought. So we're going to see if this works any better. As you just saw, those letters were disgusting, and normally I'll have to come back and really scrub those letters and make them pop, but with this, I didn't even have to touch them. Clean. So the carburetor got put back together. I bolted it back on, hooked everything back up. Uh, it starts a whole lot better, and as far as like the temperament of the, the carburetor now, it's a whole lot easier to manage. The only problem is that it's still, if you put it under heavy acceleration, it'll stumble on you. My best guess is probably this nasty fuel filter. You probably can't see it because how dark it is right now, but this thing is disgusting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go get me some uh, fuel hose, get me a new filter, Maybe hopefully that'll fix it because it just acts like it'll it'll starve it for fuel. But the carburetor runs a whole lot better because before uh, you'd have to use a uh, start and flip every single time to start this thing. If you guys watched the live stream last night, uh, basically we were just sitting around talking. Uh, we had a lot of fun. So what I'll do, I think, is that when I can't make a video or anything like that, I'll just do a live stream. That way you guys don't go without any kind of content because I want to make sure you guys know that I'm still trying to get you guys a video out, but sometimes I just can't because of the fact that I'm at school or something else is going on. So the old one's out, and look how nasty this thing is. Let me bring it out the light and show you. You can't even see through it. It's just disgusting. Look. See how brown that is? That is awful. Just kidding, I'm not going to litter. I thought it would be kind of cool to cut this thing open and see what was really inside it. So check how how nasty this stuff is. So you got a bunch of rust deposits in that thing. This is the actual filter here. Just look at how nasty that is. It's actually supposed to be white. That's all the stuff that is supposed to not get into your carburetor, but there's no telling how much has actually passed through as clogged up as this thing was. And that's what was keeping all that fuel from getting in my bed. So this thing is packed full of nastiness. And there's our new one in there. So today we're hopefully going to get this truck running. That's one of our goals today. Get it started, break in the cam. I'm really excited because this is going to be a big step in the right direction for this truck. Actually hearing it run will, you know, really...
two good things with the duster. The carburetor is actually good now. The I had to take it back apart, and the float was misadjusted. So did the adjustment to it, stuck it back on, now it runs great. I can drive it, and it doesn't have any dead spots in it. So now that's all sorted out. The other thing I did, if you can see it in there, there's a, a Mopar Performance oil filter. So I changed the oil in this thing because old oil was kind of nasty. So that means I've got good oil. The previous owner filled it up with antifreeze and transmission fluid, so I'm good on all counts with the fluid. A couple other things I'd like to do. Uh, eventually, I need to get new tires for the front, and I want to look into the brakes and maybe the front suspension. Kind of go over it make sure that everything's safe with me. Maybe get a set of belts. Eventually, I'd like to take this thing and really deep clean it under the hood, and then later on, I'd, I'd actually be interested in uh, pulling the motor and transmission out uh, all new gaskets, all new seals and the transmission, everything, repaint it the blue, and then make it all look really clean up under the hood here. So that might be something I do this summer. Be on the lookout for that. But for now, I'm just going to drive it and enjoy it. One thing I might do in the near future, at least, is clean all of this out and just get all the, the gunk and everything out from under it. Other than that, just enjoy it. So in the petty truck, you guys heard it run. Cam's broken in. I had good oil pressure. Sounded great, as you could tell. Hopefully it's not too loud for the camera. I, I don't know how it's going to sound. But if you are if you were to hear this thing in person, you'd be amazed because it's just how jarring it is. It's just extremely loud and it sounds so cool. I mean, it's not going to stay that way, but it's just something neat to hear. Uh, something like this. It's just open headers. And just before you guys say anything, all this wiring here, temporary. That was just to make it run so we could break it in and then, you know, Get a little bit of motivation and then move on. As you guys remember, I mentioned that there's an entire brand new wiring harness that's going to go for this truck, front to rear. So don't even worry about that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I really appreciate what you do for me. I put all these videos out for you guys because I really think that it's awesome that we can all talk and have a good conversation about vehicles. And I want to put these out for your enjoyment because I get enjoyment out of it too. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions for me. If you have a project, don't forget, at the very end of the video, there's an email. Send it to that. Give me a short description about it and a few pictures. And don't forget, 20,000 subscribers is so close. We're going to do some celebrating for it. And I will see you all in the next one.